Well, it's finally happened. You might tell from the way the camera is slanted that my cameraman has finally left me. Took him a while. But this is the new Audi Q5 Sportback for people that want an SUV, but don't really want the whole thing at the back. They want it more slanted. That's my thought anyway. So the bad news is that I'll have to do all of this myself so you won't get any really fancy shots. The good news is that my cameraman has only left temporarily. He's on vacation. So I suppose the best thing to do would be just to, well, take the camera and uh, show you around a little bit this uh, Q5. I think it looks quite good actually, especially with these wheels. I do like the way Audi has been playing around with these uh, LEDs as of late, especially animations and such. Now, some people might say, oh, that's just child's play, that's stupid, but um, well, I'm kind of a child and I'm stupid and well, I really like it. I think it looks pretty snazzy. If we just look inside, let me do this a uh, little bit gorilla style, by holding the camera. And uh, it's a nice interior. This is, of course, the S-Line package. But uh, what kind of is interesting to me is, one, you get these nice uh, physical controls. Let me just turn everything on. There you go. You get these nice physical controls, the really nice Audi ones. Also buttons over here, so no plethora of uh, touch buttons. You've got a big infotainment up here, of course, as per usual. Large uh, instrument cluster, all digital. And down here, under the armrest, you've got your wireless charging for the phone. But what's really kind of cool is that, uh, well, this thing can be moved just this much to expose the cup holders. There you go. But um, yeah, I think that's, uh, that's a pretty neat feature. So as per usual, you've got this uh, large instrument cluster, digital, of course, and we already know this. We've, we've seen it plenty of times. I like the fact that it's the larger variety in these uh, Audis. You can also, of course, make the actual analog instruments smaller or simulated analog. Um, so you can see your navigation and such. And I do have to say, despite the fact that, of course, you know, the infotainment, as per usual, is uh, touch, uh, it does have that little nice clicky feeling, or I shouldn't say feeling, but that feedback, uh, the feedback of the sound that clicks, is quite nice. It doesn't have haptic feedback, but I think it's uh, still pretty nice. You can see that there's a lovely river here, and I thought I would get some nice shots, but of course it's very, very traffic dense unfortunately also i should probably mention the space in the back if i sit behind myself roughly i wasn't really sitting here but i said it roughly the same as the uh, other seat um yeah there's a there's a lot of space here and i mean a lot so uh even if you're much taller you're gonna be just fine in this car and of course you've got your own climate controls here and of course, where would we be if we didn't check whether we can get all of our equipment in there? I believe this thing has probably sensors down there. I know, I know it is an option at least. And uh, to open the boot electronically or automatically without actually pressing anything. But yeah, uh, easily, easily. I obviously don't have as much equipment over here as we do usually, but uh, there is a lot of space in there despite the fact that the roof is slanted. 
Also, of course, you do have suspension over here that you can adjust. So if you want the car to go down, you can uh, put it down. I think it's around 55 millimeters that it can travel. Also with the S-Line package, you get, of course, the slightly sportier S-Line steering wheel, which is excellent. And you get these uh, S-Line seats, which I have to say, despite being sporty, are quite comfortable. Unfortunately, as it is today, uh, no manufacturer wants to really put the, uh, the volume or the capacity of their engines on the backs of the cars with the badges anymore because, well, you know, in ye old days, a two liter engine meant something and a three liter engine meant something else. But today, a 1.3 could be as fast as a three liter back then. So, yeah. So uh, there's uh, quite a few engines available, both uh, gas and uh, diesel. And you even have some three liter engines available for the most powerful diesel one and for the SQ one, which is the gas one. And there's a tractor coming, so it's very loud. So this is just a first little preview because we don't get to really test the car. We just get to drive it a little bit, record it, and that's it. But as always, I like to give you my sort of uh, first impressions of how the car feels, how the car drives, and so on and so forth. And, um, you know, having recorded so many cars and so many cars of the same manufacturer, for example, oh, doggy, don't go into the road. Um, I, I, I kind of find it, I'm getting self-conscious because I always say, oh, this is nice. Oh, this feels like an Audi. This feels like this, blah, blah, blah. But, when you're when you're testing cars and you're driving a lot of different cars you get to sort of understand oh yes i know i'm in an audi now because you know it's got its features it's got its feeling it's got its driving uh, specifications and it's the same here of course because i'm in an audi uh, it feels very very well put together uh, the S-Line steering wheel is excellent. I always say if you're getting an Audi, get an S-Line steering wheel at least. If you get a BMW, get an M steering wheel because they're just, they're just so much nicer to, uh, to use. And um, I'm actually surprised considering this is sort of an SUV-ish type vehicle. Um, it is surprisingly good in the corners yet at the same time, surprisingly comfortable, especially because I have the S-Line sort of sporty seats. So that's always nice to have. And now we have lots of traffic and bicycles. Um, and of course, you've got the digital instrument cluster, which is always nice to have. And like I always said, this is the bigger version because Volkswagen has been uh, has started putting those slightly smaller versions of their uh, digital instruments into cars, probably cost related. But I love the fact that it still has physical buttons. I will not keep I will not stop saying this, but I think this is far, far superior because all I have to do, if I want to change my temperature, look at this, I'm still watching the road, I feel around, there we go, there's the big button for the, uh, for the temperature, that's it! And you know for a fact that the temperature, uh, with each little very mechanical, very defined click, very satisfying click, goes up or down half a degree. This is, this is how it's done. I don't want touch screens for that. I don't want capacitive stuff where I keep have, have to keep looking off the road to actually see what I'm doing. This is what I want, and this is perfect. I love this sort of old Audi uh, system here they have. I probably should have done that little driving video going with this way because the sun isn't in your eyes, but I just wanted to say that finally, the car just feels very nice. Um, I might not be the biggest fan of SUVs. Uh, I still think your regular family cars, which are now apparently going extinct because everyone is just selling SUVs and crossovers, but I still think they're better on fuel economy, more comfortable, 
blah 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 and so on and and kind of look better but you know that's what the people want everyone wants suvs but in, 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 anyway that's not really related to this car what i really like is the fact that audi is putting these uh, fighter jet uh gear controls or drive selector controls in their cars they, they really feel so nice they, they look blocky but um they're actually quite ergonomically comfortable and they just they just feel cool because you you feel like you're in a fighter jet despite the fact that uh well you know you won't be setting the throttle with that of the jet engine in the back um but yeah you can also very comfortably rest your hand on it and because it's all just little switches inside there you're not really damaging anything mechanically <laughs> 